Hello, Electroheads. Today, we have an exclusive that no one else has really seen in the UK. This is the Fido bike. It looks like a monkey bike, and it's the new revolution in small motorcycles. It's basically a tiny frame, and you choose your components. I think this is gonna take the market by storm. So the idea behind this bike is that you buy the Fido frame for 500 pounds, and then you stick whatever componentry you want on it. This one right here is from Personal Electric Transport in London, and they've put a 5,000 watt motor on the rear and a 60 volt battery in here. It's quick, it goes about 40 miles an hour, um, and for a small bike, that is really fast. It feels amazing, you know, the stance is right, I could probably get two people on it and it's foldable so I could probably get it on the underground. It's not a big fold but look, it's a fold. So we're lucky enough to have this Fido bike for today and we're going to take it around the Olympic Park and show you what it's capable of. Hopefully you can get your hands on one of these pretty soon and be one of the first in England to be riding a Fido. So a lot of you in the electric rideables community might be familiar with Super 73, like the RX that's just come out and Suron, which make amazing motocross style electric bikes. But this is something I'm really impressed with. You know, it's a lot smaller than any of those products. Cooler, in my opinion, if you're in a, in a city and you want something you can throw in the car. I can't wait to see what people do with these. Customization opportunities are endless on this. You can stick whatever motors you want on it. You can stick lighting systems. People in Singapore have got indicators, everything you can imagine. And if you want me to make one for you, just get in touch, because I love making electric bikes. All right, let's go. This here is a modified Fido Q1. There is a full suspension model called the Q1S, and you can buy the Fido pre-built from their website with a 250 watt motor and a 36 volt 10 amp hour battery. But I don't really think you should do that. If you want a 250 watt e-bike to commute around town with, then have a look at the rest of Fido's range on their website, such as the D, M, and L series. I believe the best purpose for this is having fun modding it. As it's mostly a bicycle, there's an endless amount of pre-existing awesome bicycle and motorcycle componentry. Plus, with the shape of the frame made of tubed alloy, you've got a lot of mounting options for lights, body kits, extra seats, cargo baskets, cameras, and whatever else you can think of putting on it. Regarding the negative points about this bike, with the amount of power people are trying to put through the drivetrain, it's got to be strong. When closely examining the strength of the frame, there's a couple of welding points that look like potential weaknesses, although I haven't seen anyone break one yet. The speed controller I'm using on this Fido lacks high resolution control over the throttle, so you're either flooring it or you're static, which is exciting but not practical and safe. That's an easy programming fix, so I don't worry too much about that. And you can always fit an aftermarket controller which gives you endless amounts of programming customization. Try fitting a VESC, for example, and you'll have more programming control than a Tesla. Currently, if you check out the Q1 and the Q1S on Fido.com, it says coming soon. So it's not yet available in the UK or the US to order, but you can find it for 800 US dollars on other websites as it's currently available on sale in Singapore. Come on, Fido. So what do I think of the Fido so far? I'm having a lot of fun. This bike is really great and I'm really considering getting my own one and starting up a little like custom Fido uh, bike workshop where I can do people's bikes up and stick vest controllers. I mean, because everything's custom on this. What do you think, Wash? Do you think I could uh, carry this thing up the stairs? Is it a real commuter? Imagine in my usual commute, and I'm gonna carry it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not very comfortable. Oh. Yeah. Not bad. In terms of portability, um, you do have the folding, which is quite good, and that's gonna help you definitely get it in your car. Um, but this seat won't go anywhere. That's a solid aluminium piece right there. There's something about the form factor of this that feels playful and fun. Some vehicles I find uh, for you to get from A to B practically and you don't want to be seen, you don't want to stick out. But sometimes on a Sunday you want to go out with your mates and you want to have a real bit of fun and have something with some real character in it. And I really feel like this thing has character and so much space to just add more and more character to it. Tell us what you would do if you had this. How much would you spend on it? If I had 10,000 quid to spend on this bike, I would have an absolute laugh. Yeah, I'm pretty tempted actually.
One thing I found quite strange is that everyone, including Fido, are referring to this bike as an e-scooter. By definition, I believe this is a motorcycle as it has a seat, a bike frame, and bike handlebars. The cool difference between this and the monkey bike is that it's electric and silent. Most of the users of these bikes are in Singapore. As you can see, there's a strong custom culture out there. Just look at this one, for example. It looks incredible. Those disc brakes could probably stop a small car. It's got a 120 volt battery, dual motors, a steering damper, making this thing a micro powerhouse. I can't wait to see this kind of modding approach on e-scooters and electric skateboards. Just to give you a bit of a scale comparison with an e-bike that looks like a pretty wild DIY motorcycle e-bike build. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is what we're looking at, but this thing's probably a lot quicker. You can buy the Fido with stock electronics, very underpowered, but nice and legal. But I think this bike deserves much more than that kind of treatment. The frame is rated for 150 kilograms, which is a substantial load. I'm 80 kilograms, so that's almost two of me, or a big you plus a child and some shopping. This makes the Fido very usable for day-to-day -day errands, as well as having a laugh. Well, that was the Fido bike. What a load of fun. And I hope you've enjoyed your chance to Oh, ho, ho. ow. Yeah. YouTubers out there, don't try and casually lean on a bike because as you see, you're going to get a handlebar in the jaw. It's not fun. So the Fido bike. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little special on the Fido bike. One of my favorite e-rides I've ever played with. And I can't wait to see if this takes over the Super 73 on, and the Surons. In my opinion, this is gonna come like a big storm on the market. I think we're entering an era with electric rideables where it's not just about buying the rideable and, and riding it, it's adding your own style and your own customizable elements to it to make it represent you as a person. Shout out to PET for supplying this Fido. They did an amazing job modding this bike and hopefully we will get to see a few more Fido custom creations rolling out of their warehouse soon. Check out our affiliate link in the description below to get 5% off their products at personalelectrictransport.co.uk. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We love you guys watching our content and we love making it, so keep it coming. Mm. Mm-hmm.